tell us about the Houses of Parliament. I mean, that's not a place I naturally think of exhibiting this kind of work. How, how did that come about and who did you meet? So that, I mean, that exhibition was done of my portraits and self-portraits of Yazidi women. Um, and that was sponsored by Jane Karen Spellman. And um, so she's an, she was an MP at that yes. time in House of Parks. It was in the upper waiting hall. And they choose a few few exhibitions a year to be shown there. So it was incredible that it was selected to be church, church shown. Um, but the week, it, the week it was shown, it was leading up to Easter um, 27, 2018, I think it was. Um, and I was quite overwhelmed by the response of the ministers and who raised the issue of the Yazidi plight of Yazidi women in Parliament and even mentioned by the then PM, um, Prime Minister Theresa May in Parliament as well. The, so I, I'd never, I had not expected that at all, that kind mm. of response. Um, and then I was invited to show it at the Foreign Office, at the um, Department for, for Development as well, International Development and at GCHQ, the Government Communications headquarters as well. So really, from there, it, it, it enabled the work to be shown in these other places. And the response you had was in, in conversation, or letters, or emails, or how, did, how was that response shown, or just people turning up to look? People were turning up because it was in an area where the MPs were walking through for their meetings, so it was people were stopping. And I was also really amazed at the amount of people who um, in their busy day, stop to read each of the stories of the women, um, and you know, were visibly really deeply touched and moved by the work as well. Some of them to tears. I remember speaking with one lady uh, when they were shown at GCHQ, and she was saying to me that she was in tears. She said, um, "You know, I she, I work in the in the at the cyber level in the Iraq department. You know, we're working at the cyber level to try to prevent atrocities like this happening." But you've shown like the human stories behind what, why we're doing what we're doing. Yeah. So often in our work, we don't see that side. Oh, that's terrific. And she Just for the viewers, said, the American viewers, GCHQ is the, is the head, of, head of security, am I right? Or yeah, the headquarters of security yeah. for the UK. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's a wonderful story. Wonderful so story. I think that, and that was a like, real privilege to hear that as well, that, it would, that the work touched her in that way. Or, or just from, it, she said it gave her a sense and that motivation to keep doing the work that she's doing to prevent yeah. things like this happening. So it's given, it's, it's, it provides that human context, I think, as well. So it's a reminder of the human stories behind these Absolutely. global crises around the world um, that are so often so distant and difficult to relate to. Um, but I think, is it, is it Emmanuel Levinas who speaks about when we encounter um, an individual in their suffering, we are ourselves transformed um, yeah. as well, and the, and the importance of that encounter in a portrait painting, more so than a photograph, because it captures some, I guess, the depth of soul of the individual as well. And also, it's born of contemplation, a painting is. The process of creating a painting is contemplative. So I think that in itself creates space for people to contemplate and to yes. Um, in a way that's different 